to forget the rose. He travels a number of planets and he learned a lot of things from different people. He symbolizes a child because of his innocence. He is capable of appreciating every little thing. He speaks directly to others, appealing to their heart. He became friends with the narrator and teaches him with essence of life. And lastly, he travels a number of planets but never forgets his rose. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bacal. So, so the next one is the rose. Who wants to read? Billy. Go ahead, Miss Billy. Okay, the rose. She was the beloved of the little prince. She was the one that caused the little prince to leave their planet. Things that she was so unique and the world goes around her. She occupies the little prince's heart and mind throughout the story and the entire journey of the little prince. Okay, thank you. The next is the king. So the king, he is the first person that the little prince met. His robe covered his entire tiny planet and he rules over everything. And the king's power is empty. He is able to command people to do only what they already would do. He offered the little prince a power to be part of his absolute monarch. But the little prince did not accept it because he only wants to have a power. So the next one is the conceited man. Who wants to read? Conceited man, the second person that the little prince met on his journey in the second planet. He enjoys admiration. He believes that conceited people never hear anything but praise even if he is the only person in his planet. Okay, thank you, Miss De La Cruz. So the next one is the Tipler. Who wants to read? Listen. Go ahead, Listen. Person that the little prince has, and a very short visit by this person, but the little prince plug into the dejection. And he drinks to forget that he is ashamed of drinking. So the little prince and said that grown ups may be very odd. Okay, thank you. So, next one is the businessman who wants to read. Yunson. I disconnected. So the lamp lighter. The lamp lighter is the fifth person that the little prince met on the smallest planet of all. He was so faithful about the orders and he has terrible profession because he has to light up the lamp when evening and light out when morning for his planet to make a complete turn. He symbolizes the death and the birth because he is the one who is in charge of lighting his planet. So the next one is the geographer who wants to read. Mansilagan. Go ahead, Miss Mansilagan. Okay. Geographer, last person that the little prince met before he landed on Earth, and it has a ten times larger than the last one. All gentlemen who wrote Bolomino's book, even if he wants to read, he didn't want to learn about his own planet because he believed that it is the job or of explorer. He tells that the rose of the little prince is ephemeral means in danger of speedy disappearance. That's why the little prince realized how important the rose is. He was the one who suggests to the little prince to visit the planet Earth. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Miss Mansilagan. So the next one is the snake. Who wants to read? Denwata. Go ahead, Miss Denwata. Okay, the snake, the first character the, pr the prince met on Earth. Little prince thinks that the snake is weak, but the snake tells him not he can kill a person. It can solve all kinds of riddles. It represents the death in the story because it is the one who bites the little prince. Okay, thank you, Miss Danwata. No, so the snake is 
uh, the, the snake says, while on earth, the little prince also encounters a snake who tells him that there aren't people on account that they are both in African desert. No, so the little prince finds him to be curious creature and judges the snake to have little power. So the snake assures him that he has more power than it seems being able to send people to the land and they come from. Then eventually it is the snake that will aid the little prince in returning to his planet. So later we, uh, we are going to know uh, the summary of the story. So next is the desert flower who wants to read. Then we'll talk. Go ahead, Miss Albaran. So the, uh, the desert flower, it has three petals. It watches the caravan to pass by. It tells him that there are only six or seven men in existence and that one never knows where to find them. The little prince and the desert flower has very short conversation. Okay, so the three petal flower mistakenly tells the, uh, the little prince that there are errant many people on earth. She lives in the desert and therefore he hasn't seen many. So next. So the rose garden, who wants to read? Yunson. Go ahead, Miss Yunson. Ga rose garden. They made the little prince realize that his rose was a common rose only. The little prince overcome his sadness because of many roses in the garden, even in a small period of time. However, with the fox advice, the little prince realizes that even so many similar flowers or roses cannot stop his own rose from being unique, especially in his heart. Okay, thank you, Miss Yunson. So the rose garden is while on earth he stumbles upon rose garden and and he is surprised to find that his rose isn't the only rose that exists as she had claimed so later we're going to know this one so next one is the fox who wants to read Pansilagan. Pan Salcedo. uh miss Salcedo. the fox it teaches the little prince about trust love and friendship it made the little prince realize how much he loves the roots it also teaches the little prince the essence of life and being a wise creature he tells the little prince that the nature of life is invisible and can only be experienced through the heart love creates a responsibility for the little prince to be responsible for his rules. Okay, thank you, Miss Salcedo. So the fox, so the little prince, the first encounters, which is the fox while visiting on earth. So the fox teaches the, the little prince about the ways of humans and the importance of being tame. So he then asks the little prince to tame him, to which the little prince agrees to. And the next one is the railway which switch man. Who wants to read? Mansilagan. Mansilagan. Go ahead, Miss Mansilagan. Railway switchman. He worked at train. He believed that people keep on traveling because they are dissatisfied. He don't know what adults are looking for. He agrees to the little prince that the children are the one who enjoy and appreciate the train rides. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So the railway switchman, so the little prince met the meet him while on earth he asked him he asked him what the passenger are looking for and seeing another train cars asked if the passenger are coming back because they aren't satisfied so the switchman tells him that, that he doesn't know what they are looking for and that the train car is different one that the previous but the, nobody is ever satisfied where they are at so the next one is the merchant so the merchant is he sells pills that can replace the need of the water. He tells the he tells that the people can save up to 53 minutes a day if they don't stop to drink the pills. And he symbolized that the modern world misplaced emphasis on saving the time and taking shortcuts. Next. So now let's proceed to the summary of the story or the novel. So who wants to who wants to read the first paragraph here? Denwata. Go ahead, Miss Denwata. 
the narrator, which is a pilot, had a hard time connecting with grown-ups. grown ups. He don't understand and has no interest in his choice. Sorry, um, and has no interest in his drawing and imagination. He thinks that he will never have a person of true understanding until he met the little prince. Okay, so thank you. So they had their encounter in the desert of Sahara or Sahara Desert because of the pilot's plane accident. So the two immediately click with each other and become good friends over a short period of time. He discovered that the little prince came from a very small planet called Asteroid B612. So in here, who wants to read the third paragraph? Anyone? Bakalso. Go ahead, Mr. Bakalso. Uh, the third mom on it. There are three tiny volcanoes and a flower whom he loves. This flower is very vain but tells lies and that makes the little prince unhappy. Then he leaves his planet because he cannot trust her anymore. The little prince tells the pilot about, about his visit to other tiny asteroids which are inhabited by all sorts of strange characters. And the little prince first encounters a king who claims to rule over everything, including the stars, but he has no subjects on his own planet to rule. Then little prince got bored and leaves. Okay, thank you. So the second person of... The second person the little prince meet is the conceited man who enjoys applause and admiration to the admiration. So the third is a tippler who says that he drinks to forget the that he is ashamed of drinking. So the fourth grown up is a businessman who is busy counting the stars so that he may own them. So at this point, the little prince finds all the grown ups very strange, and he continues onto the planet of the lamp lighter who lights a lamp on his planet when night falls and puts it out again when the sun arise, rises. So the little prince finds the lamplighter to be the least ridiculous of all the grown-ups up, grown because he thinks of something other than himself. So later we, uh, later we discuss it one by one to the plot structure. So next, who wants to read the first paragraph? Mansilagan. Go ahead, Miss Mansilagan. The little prince then comes across a geographer who tells the little prince that his rose is ephemeral or, in other words, in danger of speedy disappearance. This alarms the little prince and makes him regret leaving his rose. Okay, so nevertheless, he continues on his journey to the planet Earth. Finally, he meets a wise fox who teaches him about trust, love, and friendship. So the fox lesson helped to, to the prince realize that he loves his flower and that she is unique and special because of the relationship they share. So the pilot has no more supply of water, so they walk throughout the desert to find a well. Fortunately, they found one and the pilot engine is successfully fixed. So the little prince wants to go back to his planet so he so he is bitten by a snake then disappears from earth. So after 6 years the prince disappearance the pilot still thinks of him. He wants to know where the little prince is and what is happening to him. So the pilot also wants the readers to wonder about the little prince and inform him if ever the little prince has come back. So now let's proceed to the plot structure. So for the exposition, who wants to read? Anyone? Alvarado. Go ahead, Miss Albaran. For the exposition, the narrator, which is a, which is a pilot, thinks that grown-ups are not people with true understanding. They don't understand his drawings when he was a child and only want to talk about practical stuff like politics and golf. That is why in his whole life, he had a hard time connecting with grown-ups. Okay, so as we all know, the story begins with the narrator 
a pilot recounting his own experiences of crashing in the Sahara Desert and meeting a young boy, the little prince. So the pilot uh, establishes a bond with the prince and learns about his home planet, and which is the asteroid B612, as his quest to understand the world and it in its inhabitants. So for the rising action, who wants Yun to read? Son. Yun son. Go ahead, Miss Yunson. Rising action. The pilot had an accident with his plane in the desert of Sahara. Then he met the little prince who asked him to draw a few things. And the pilot is delighted that finally he met someone with true understanding. The little prince described his adventures and travels. Then he tells the reason why he left his planet. It is because of the flower that he loves but caused him pain. Okay, thank you. So during his journey, the prince, uh, the little prince leaves his tiny planet and embarks on a journey through the universe, visiting various asteroids and also encountering different individuals along the way. So because of, uh, because it's, uh, it's because of the flower that he loves, it caused him a pain. So that's why the little prince, uh, the little prince encounters six characters, which is later we we are going to know this one. So the next one is the climax. So the climax of the of the story is that the little prince tells the pilot about this encounter with a wise fox, which is the fox taught him about the friendship, love, and trust. As a result of the fox lessons, the little prince realized that he truly loves his flower and that he is unique and special because of the relationship that uh, they share with each other. So, next one is the falling action. Who wants to read? Then Padang Papa. Po. Go ahead, Mr. Padang. Okay, po. Um, Falling action. The pilot has no more supply of water, so they walked throughout the desert to find a well. Unfortunately, the, they found one and the pilot's engine is successfully fixed. The little prince wants to go back to his planet, so he is bitten by a snake, then disappears from Earth. Okay, thank you. So, next one. The next one is the Denoma. So, after six years of the of the prince disappearance, the pilot still thinks of him, and he wants to know where the little prince is, is and what is happening to him. So, the pilot also wants the readers that, to wonder about the little prince to so inform him if ever the little prince has come back. So, in the final part of the novel, so the prince decides to return he, to his planet to protect his rose. He shares a heart goodbye with the narrator who is feeling both sudden and the prince departure and is inspired by the lesson learned. So the story that the story concludes that the with the pilot reflecting on the profound impact the little prince had had on his lap on his life and or urging readers to nurture their own inner child life and also the little prince the overall plot structure of the little prince uh the little prince arrives on earth and encounters six uh six uh characters which is uh fixing his plane the prince shares about the stories reveals that he has formed a special bond with Rose and his home planet, and he realizes the importance of his Rose despite his flaws and understands the significance of the relationship we cultivate in life. So the prince also befriends for the fox who imparts wisdom about the essence of things and the value of taming. So the little prince follows the journey of the young prince as he explores the universe, encounters different characters, and gains wisdom about the nature of human existence and relationship it serves as the uh it serves as a 
lessons for us the importance of imaginations and the need of appreciation of simple things in life. So next one is the symbolism. So first symbol is the rose, a symbol of universal love. So as we all know, rose is what? Symbolize love. Okay, thank you. So the second symbol is about the stars. Who wants to read? Danwata. Go ahead, Miss Danwata. So the second symbolism is the stars. So as a pilot, the narrator attaches importance to stars because he depends upon them for navigation. So after the narrator meets, meets the little prince, he finds the stars hold new meaning for him because he knows that the prince lives among them. Okay, thank you. So next is the desert. So one of the symbol of the novel is the desert. So the novel is set in the Sahara Desert, a barren place ready to be shaped by experience. So the desert is also a hostile space that contains no water and a deadly serpent. So in this capacity, the desert symbolizes the narrator's mind, which is made barren by grown-up ideas. The narrator's mind slowly expands under the guidance of the little prince in the same way that the deadly desert slowly transforms itself into a place of learning and once the world appears refreshment. So the, the second, uh, the next symbol is the trains. Who wants to read? Yeah. Anyone? Ah, okay, sige, si na lang. Go ahead, Miss Devila. Yeah, the trains. The trains that appear in uh, chapter 22 represent the futile efforts we make to better our lot. The train rides are rushed voyages that never result in happiness because as the switch man informs the prince, people are never happy where they are. Also, the trains rush at each other from opposite directions, suggesting that the efforts grown-ups make are contradictory and purposeless. Again, it is children who grasp the truth. They see that the journey is more important than the destination and press their faces hungrily against the windows as they ride, taking in the scenery. Okay, thank you, Miss Divila. Next one. Next assemble is water. Who wants to read? Silagan. Go ahead, Miss Mansilagan. Symbol of water. The water is in the well symbolizes spiritual fear of dying. It is also a symbol of life. By the story end, the drinking of water emerged as a clear symbol of a spiritual fulfillment. The narrator's concern about running out of water after he first crashes into the desert mirror, he complained that he has grown old. Later, when he and the prince find the meteor's well, the water the narrator drinks reminds him of Christmas festivities. Okay, thank you. So the last the last symbol is the Baobab tree. Who wants to read? Yunson. Go ahead, Miss Yunson. There are giant plants that grow on the prince planet. They start off as a tiny weeds. What if not uprooted and discarded when they are little? They firmly take root and can even cause a planet to split apart. The baobabs stand for unpleasant things in one's nature. If we don't spot them and weed them out early, they will take firm root and distort our personalities. Okay, thank you, Miss Yunson. So, the baobab tree is one of the major symbols in the novel of The Little Prince. It is literal meaning... It is only the tree that appears small, but if left to grow, can result in a major catastrophe for the little prince planet. So this is all metaphorical for the bad habits like those exhibited on each planet, no? That the prince visited that may seem little, but when neglected, can grow dangerous and destroy society and therefore Earth. 
So the baobab tree is yet another lesson amongst many of which are imparted by this magnificent tale. Next one. Ayun ba? Na pala symbol. So the king. Who wants to read? Padilio. Go ahead, Miss Padilio. The king. The to the and uh, and the essential that one can only see with the heart. He finally learns to appreciate her because he, he has lost her. Madungo pa ko? Yes. 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 Uh, okay, for the for the next symbol is the king. Who wants to read? Padilio. Go ahead, Miss Padilio. <laughs> the king. The king is depicted, depicted a self-centered person who thinks highly of himself. However, the superiority brings only loneliness to him and causes people like the Leo Prince to leave him. He thinks he knows everything and possesses everything, but in truth, he is very ignorant of the world beyond his miniature planet. The king represents people in our society who thinks of themselves as superior beings. They don't listen to others' opinion and disregards the consequences of their actions. In the end, all they get is disrespect instead of the respect that they believe they should have. Okay, thank <clears throat> you so much, Miss Padilio. So the next uh, symbol is the flower. So the flower, the flower to the prince is the treasure and essential that one can only see with the heart. He finally learns to appreciate her, her because he has lost her. The flower can be compared to mothers. Mothers nag their children all the time to perform different duties. However, their intentions are good. They care deeply for their children and keep a roof over their children's heads. And it is when we lost our moms that we realize the importance in our lives. Okay, so for the theme is importance, the importance of relationship. So uh, in the novel, no, the facts teaches the little prince a valuable lesson that, that the ties that one establishes are what makes one unique from everyone else. Because when, uh, when two people establish a relationship, they become unique to each other. It seems the purpose of one's life is to establish ties Otherwise, everyone's appears to be the same with no distinction. Because it is only when someone touches your heart that you see them as one of the kind. So anyone who wants to uh, who wants to share their ideas, the importance of relationship. Um, can I po Bakalso? Go ahead, Mr. Bakalso. Yeah, so I would definitely agree with what you said, no, that um the importance of relationships, even though uh, there are uh that the little prince knew that there are a lot of roses and that his rose is very common to some planets, but the thing is that the special place that uh the rose holds in his heart, it what's make unique and it what makes the um relationship important to both of them. So as same goes with other people, no that there are a lot of people now we met and we know along the way or along the journey of our lives. But the thing is that there are also people that stays and that we hold um we hold special in our hearts, no. So despite na they sometimes kanang na ay mga away away diva, but uh especially sa tong friends, pero the thing is kanang nagyapon something between each other. So, yeah. Okay, thank you so much for, for that, Mr. Bakal. So, anyone? Yunson. Go ahead, Miss Yunson. So, just like what uh, Mr. Bakal said a while ago, mag add lang ko si ang ingo na, that uh, important, uh, the relationships are important in a way that these relationships uh, mold us to continue to learn and grow. 
So in the story, the the little prince encounters various characters on his journey, such as the fox and even the the snakes. I mean the snake. So uh, these uh, encounters illustrate the transformative power of relationship. It is said in the PPT. Uh, a while ago that through his interactions with others, the prince learns important life lessons about trust, about friendship, and even about responsibility. So again, relationships is important as it provides opportunities for personal growth and of course widening uh, our perspectives and even uh, it helps us gain wisdom fr from others. So that's all. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Yunson. So the next one is growing up. So growing up is unfortunately with the age, children lose the gift that allows them to live naturally in connection with the mind. They become big people whose only concern is the useful. So anyone who wants to uh, share their ideas about growing up in the story, Padilio. Anyone? Go ahead, Miss Padilio. Okay, so, <coughs> sorry, something. Uh, when we talk about growing up, the lesson that we makuha sa sa the little prince is that balik balik yung nagina yon ni ni little prince na lang ano ad man ang yas ka ang adult na dili ganon siya wala kada ano nagrefuse siya to grow up because small ang yung napansin ano ang mga adult has been so busy with different things, especially <clears throat> success good, that they forgot forget to be human. So, muna is siya, importante ka ayaw. When we are especially adult, adult naman siguro muna, <laughs> adult naman din ko, it is important to remember to be human despite na ka ng pressure sa kalibutan the things na ka nang kailangan dapat maging successful tayo at mga demand sa kalibutan we should also remember ba na even though we are adult we, sh we are still human and human needs pa passion needs compassion needs kanang love and also needs to listen to kanang children porque sometimes mas tagantag matunan sa mga ginapang storya sa mga bata because they are so kind of uh, na para innocent and kind of pure pa ang ilang mga comments so mo na siya ang ako ang natunan sa the little things thank you okay thank you so much miss padilio no so agree po ko sa giingon nimo thing no uh, growing up is important because daghan tag matunan sa mga bata which when when it comes sa mga mga things nga wata ka balo bisag adult na ta makahibalo gya punta makalearn gya punta through, uh, through sa mga bata or ana uh, so next one is the innocence and imagination so the innocence and imagination the little prince embodies childlike because uh, innocence and curiosity emphasizing the importance of imagination and understanding the world. So through his imaginative adventures and conversation with various characters, he encourages uh, the readers or he encourages to us to see beyond the confines and log the logic and rationality. So next one. Okay, so here the question. Uh, here are the questions. So, what moral lessons did you learn from the little prince? So, anyone who wants to answer? <clears throat> Bakalso. Go ahead, Mister Bakalso. Yeah, so I I believe no, there are a lot of lessons that we can learn from the little prince, but I would like to highlight two lessons that I can relate to. The first one is. Uh, the katong quote good nga ginabalik balik na uh, it's non verbatim but the the message is that uh the <clears throat> so the real uh, basta katong what is essential is in, invisible kato, the, uh, invisible yeah. to the eye so that's uh, that quote no is although it's a cliche but the message itself is kanang is very relevant to everyday no especially today na uh, sometimes people 
value, what is kind of tangible, but uh, we must always remember that tangible things rot. And then also, uh, same goes with a physical appearance. It will fade eventually, but what remains is our genuineness and our uh, what is inside our hearts. So the second one is katong na point out ni Miss Padilio na a while ago about being uh, about growing up that sometimes we forget to uh, appreciate things because we are constantly growing up and when we constantly grow up we also have uh, different responsibilities that we need to address and then what I learned is that we must not forget even though we are growing up we must not forget to be not to be childish but to be childlike because to become uh, to be childlike uh, we are able to see the world in different perspective just like how children appreciate small things and that children doesn't always dream in significance diba so uh, when we uh, divert our thinking or our mindset just like how children thinks uh, we can also i think it it's better to see the world in the uh, lens of, of the children. So that's it. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Mr. Bakalso. Okay, so anyone? Mansilagan. Go ahead, Miss Mansilagan. The moral lesson that I've got in the story, which is entitled The Little Prince, um, never forget to take care of the most important things. The Little Prince remind us we must never put off until tomorrow, what is the vital for ourselves today? That would be all. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Napa, mo share? If nana, if wala na, so next. So, uh, before I end this, uh, this discussion this evening, no, so. It is only with the heart that one can see rightly what is essential is invisible to the eye. So it is according to the facts, no, that I just want to share, I just want to share from it this from the quote no nga. May this be a reminder sa atua to each and every one that at the end of the day, what matters most is never anything material. It is our family, it is our friendship love and trust and our support system because it and those are the things that only that only the heart can see so it is a it is a great uh, quote no from the fox that daghang kay tag learn ani nga quote <clears throat> so next one uh, so this is your assignment so the direction is the students will be divided into two groups so each group will be given a task. The group one is draw a concept map and describe the characteristic of the little prince. And the group two, draw a concept map and describe the characteristic of the fox. So next, so that would be all. Thank you for your participation, everyone. That's it. Po. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Bayan Ban. Uh, feedback next meeting na lang po ha. Thank you, everyone, for participating. Thank you, ma'am.